Today's video is uh, a real quick one to make and it's very healthy. It's avocado, banana, and carob uh, pudding. And so I've got the uh, wet ingredients started here. So I've taken a, a ripe avocado and I've mashed it up. And so that way it's nice and um, smooth there. And I've got a couple of bananas peeled. Um, and you might want a, uh, another banana uh, once you get the pudding finished. And then maybe a quarter cup of chopped almonds to kind of make that as like a garnish for the top. Um, you can be creative and do whatever suits your fancy. So anyway, this is a, a favorite of mine. Um, I, I might have picked up a chocolate addiction somewhere along the way and that carob powder is a good way to have a vegan um, alternative. So I'm just taking a big serving spoon and I use this more than anything else, any, any utensils or anything in my kitchen. And so bear with me here because I wanted you to see you know exactly how simple and easy this is but um, the riper I mean that they're not too ripe these bananas they're still a little bit firm but um, I kind of don't like them to get too ripe myself so some people have different tastes and then the other ingredients let me go ahead and tell you while I'm still smashing these I'm going to put um, oh, around two tablespoons of pure maple syrup and that will give it that additional kind of uh, sweetness to it. But the banana has a natural sweetness and so it just kind of balances out um, the avocado taste. And so... Um, while I have the chance, I'm almost finished. God put so many wonderful plants and herbs and seeds and nuts and on this earth and they're so good for our bodies. And so uh, the more you can put the variety of plants into your diet, the healthier you'll be, the better you'll feel and the longer you'll live. So that's good enough for now. So a couple of, uh, so all the wet stuff first before I add that carrot powder. And then um, it's gonna be a quarter cup of uh, roasted carrot powder. I get it from a, a truck that comes over from uh, east of Mount Hood, Oregon. Uh, once a month they or well actually they come to Vancouver twice a month but my drop is uh, once a month I order that's where I get all my organic oats and grains and um, so one teaspoon of vanilla and then a quarter teaspoon or a pinch of pumpkin uh, pie spice from Trader Joe's but I'm gonna wait and get this all stirred up. So it's amazing how this little yellowish greenish hue is getting ready to look exactly like chocolate pudding and there's no sugar, there's no um, dairy, there's no eggs. And so and uh, avocado, of course, is the healthy fats that your body needs. So now we're ready. We'll do the quarter cup of the uh, roasted carob powder. Uh, I have a, I don't know, maybe one pound bag here I got from uh, Azure Standard. And so, so one quarter cup of the roasted carob powder. And I'll do a little pinch more. And now a little pinch of the Trader Joe's pumpkin pie spice. Not too much because you don't want it to 
take over and just simply stir it up and all of a sudden we're um, whoops all of a sudden we're getting um, a chocolate pudding consistency so and from what I understand uh, parents that teach their children how to eat like this um, they'll be happy uh, they'll never um, want to get into that because I was raised up in the 60s and that's when the the McDonald's and the Burger Kings and Kentucky Fried Chickens all started up you know and uh, I I just made a decision in 2000. I came home from working at Alaska Airlines one day and I was, you know, above 40 years old a little bit. <laughs> and I was wore out tired and I says, I don't know how long I'll be able to do this. And so I started doing some research and I got off of all animal products and I eliminated them gradually. Got rid of the red meat first and then um, eliminated anything but the turkey breast. I only had turkey breast. And so every now and then at Thanksgiving, if I'm something special, and of course it, everybody else is eating turkey breast, I might have a little bit, but I don't buy it myself too much. So anyway, so there you go. That's a beautiful uh, pudding. And just chill this for about three hours and it'll be nice and chilled and then don't forget you can sprinkle those almond um, chopped almonds and maybe little uh, slices of banana or whatever you want on the top and uh, we'll see you on the next video and God bless you bye bye